What's up guys? So in today's video, I'll be doing a review on this Propel drone that I bought off an online auction. This auction has anything from clothing to furniture to electronics to power tools, basically anything you can think of. So if you guys want to go check them out, I'll post a link in the description below. Check out their auction. Maybe you'll find something you so, like. Let's get to it. First off, I didn't do a box opening on this drone because one, I have no clue how to fly, fly a drone. I've never flown one, so I didn't want to break it before I even made the review. So I decided to open up on my own and gain some knowledge on how to work this thing, practice a little bit for this review. So I think I got the hang of it, so I'll be doing a review on this and you guys will be able to watch the clips and then I'll come back to you guys after watching the clips and let you guys know what I think. So I'll show you guys what comes inside this drone. This comes a controller, this is the remote. It requires two AAA batteries, and inside this package also comes some extra blades and a screwdriver, so whenever you mess something up, you can probably fix it. An owner manual for the Zip Nano. And then, I don't know what this is, but it looks like it's a map or a globe of some sort. Oh, it also says if you register this drone, you'll be able to get unlimited supply if you break anything. So that's a plus. Also comes with a USB charger. They recommend that you charge this into a PC or a laptop and not into an outlet. I don't know, maybe it can burn up the motor or something. I have no clue. But just plug it into the computer and you should be good. Another thing that comes with this remote come handle grips. These are the grips. This is the right one, this is the left one. You just clip them on here. They fall into this slot. And they're gonna help you have better grip on the controller. There you go. And I think I think it fits a lot better in your hand this way too. And let me see if I got anything else in here. Oh, and this explains how to put the extensions. On the remote. That's good. So there you guys have it. This is the drone. Now let's get to the reviewing of it. Bye.
So there you guys go. You guys saw me flying it indoors. You guys saw me flying it outdoors. Now let me give you my opinion on what I thought. This thing is absolutely awesome. This thing is so much fun to fly around the house. It down, 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 down. I don't want to do any more, kid. But not so much fun outdoors. Because outdoors, as you saw in the videos, I barely had any control over this thing. This drone is not meant to be outdoors. Even though it does say indoor outdoor drone on the box, I recommend you guys fly this indoors. Outdoor clip where it was very windy, maybe five to 10 miles per hour wind. This is a very light drone, very extremely light drone. So if you're gonna be flying at even five to 10 miles per hour winds, I barely had any control of this. Even though the other day it was a lot, warm, a lot windier than the previous day that I recorded, I still couldn't control this thing. So if you're a beginner like me, and you're trying to get maybe in the future advance to a bigger drone, I definitely say start with this Propel Zip Nano. This thing is great for beginners. And it's pretty quick to be honest. So there you guys have it. You guys can pick this up at tmldeals.com. Once again, I'll have the link in the description below. See you guys next time.